Because I think that when we're violated as in our youth, we have very low expectations of people. Right? We have very low expectations of people. You know? That's why we tend to keep getting it as adults in these situations because, you know, we're going to put up with way more than the next person that hasn't had to work to create relationships. Right? Because we've spent all of our time has been work to have a relationship. Right? And if you're having to work to have a relationship with your mother or your father, then, you know, everybody else really should really have to be a whole lot of work. Right? So that's kind of our story. We're trapped in. And I think that, that for me, when I would think about creating more boundaries, I'd think, wow, but I have so many odd walls. Right? I mean, I have boundaries that get crossed very regularly, but then I have some walls. Like, you know, my bubble is firm, you know, don't cross, you know what I'm saying? So, so, you know, we have so many walls about receiving, right? Receiving love, receiving gratitude, you know, anything. So, I, I think for myself, it was really important to switch out of the wall thought and into raising my expectations. Now, people say to me, well, you know, if you raise your expectations, you're going to be disappointed. And I said, well, if you're disappointed, then you're judging the person for their choices. You know? That's different. Because you can invite them to play with you. They don't have to. You know? My mother's still choosing whether she wants to play with me or not. Right? But I'm not going to play that game anymore. Right? I'm not going to walk back into that story and recreate it. Because we can write our next story. We can. It's just truly changing our dialogue in our head and the words we speak. I was listening to a book by Chopra the other day, and he said that every thought that you entertain becomes a molecule. Think about that. 